Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into how to set up recurring meetings in Microsoft Teams the right way. Whether you're running weekly check-ins or monthly strategy sessions, a well-structured recurring meeting can boost efficiency and keep your team on track. We'll walk you through the setup process and share best practices to make sure that your meetings are productive, not just another calendar invite. Plus, we'll show you how TeamFlex can help you get even more value by streamlining follow-ups, tracking action items, and aligning your team's goals. Let's jump right in. To set up a recurring meeting inside Microsoft Teams, all you have to do is go into the calendar view and pick out a time slot. From there, you'll add a title and add your required SMDs. Let's add Kevin with our daily one-on-one -on -one for Kevin. And then you'll choose your time frame for the meeting. Now let's set the recurrence. As you can see, the default here is does not repeat. And once you click, there will be a bunch of options to choose from. Let's go for weekly for this meeting. Here you'll set up a start date and repeat every week, every other week, however you want to set up your meeting. You can also select an end date to the recurrence. So now let's go ahead and save this and send the invite. You'll see immediately on your calendar the recurring event that you just set up. Now that that's set up, let's see what that looks like inside TeamFlight. On our homepage, under my upcoming meetings, you can see the one-on-one -on -one that we created with Kevin. Let's click inside. Here you'll have a bunch of different features available to you at your disposal. Like for example, the talking points. Not only can you set talking points for your meetings, but you can also allocate a different time for each one. Let's set up another. And let's put this on 15 minutes again. You can also put in shared notes for that meeting or opt for private notes that will be only visible to you. Here we also have the check-in feature for you to be able to check in with your participants in between your recurring meetings. Once you click on new check-in, you'll be met with different check-in templates to choose from, or you can also opt to customize these templates as you please according to your specific needs. Let's go with the default one on one check-in template and add check-in to the meeting. Here you can see the different types of questions that both Benny and Kevin will be answering to reflect on their recurring meeting. You can also see that you can add different tasks, attachments, or even send feedback or recognitions within this feature. Here you also see different customizable badges for recognition. And you can use all of these features as you please. You can also see Kevin's last reviews for context, any tasks that might have been set up or not, and Kevin's goals on the right-hand side. And let's join in the meeting now. Once you join in on the meeting, the view will be the same as any other Microsoft Teams meeting, but you'll have to add TeamFlight as an app through the top-hand menu bar to be able to reach all of the features that we just set up together. So once you do so, all of the details will show up on the right-hand side. You can see our talking points and the time frame that we gave each of them. You can also see Kevin's goals. So here we have his overall progress with his active goals. And you would also see your shared notes if you had any and your private notes. And you can even add tasks through here as well or add attachments. Basically, whatever you need to optimize your recurring meetings. And that's it. By setting up recurring meetings strategically and using TeamFlight to keep everything organized, you can make sure that every meeting drives real results. You can try all these features and more through the link in the description and by scheduling a demo. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and hit the bell icon for more productivity tips from us. Let us know in the comments, how do you keep your Teams meetings effective? See you on the next one.